Hey there guys, DJ back at you for yet another DJ's post-workout brew tube beer review. And what do we got on deck for tonight? Well, I got a special beer because one of my favorite breweries is Founders out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And tonight we've got Founders Porter. Founders Porter is a um, porter, just like I said, it's American porter. And it's on 6.5% alcohol by volume and it's 45 IBUs. How do I know that? Because right here on the label, they clearly label it. 6.5% ABV, 45 IBUs. What they also do, if we wipe the chill haze off here, a nice clear yellow ink on this nice dark bottle, they put the date. Look at this and learn other craft brewers. The date on here is 5-13-12. That's when it was brewed. So it's a couple months old, but it's still plenty fresh. So. Uh, and on six, uh, you know, 6.5% alcohol by volume, yeah, we can let it sit around a little bit, but this isn't one we're going to sell her, guys. So the glass they're suggesting for this is a pint. As you know, I'd like to use my, I like to use my Nonic pint for my porters. So, you know, let's get this year-round serving in the glass and see what we got going on. One pop, as always, for the cap collection if we want it. And let's see what we got when we put this in the glass. Pour this right down the center. See what kind of head we can't get on this. Seen a lot of guys pour this and they don't get any head at all when they do. But man, look at that guys. Chocolatey goodness. Bubbles are just cascading down into that. It looks kind of like uh, when you've got a Guinness drawn right out of the tap. Um, three fingers of a really dark chocolatey head. Um, man, there's only the slightest red tinges coming out of the bottom of that. I there's bubbles sticking to the inside of the glass wall here, but I really can't see them coming up. If I put it into the light, I can see the slightest amount of red tinge in there, but a really dark beer. You know, um, let's see, it had staying with the best of them. We've got two and a half fingers on there. Man, this is inviting me, and I can smell the chocolate coming off this now. Let's see what kind of nose we get on it. Wow. Right up at the front. Sort of a milk chocolatey, not so much dark chocolate, a really dark beer, but it's like it's like really yummy milk chocolate, almost like um, when you first smell that like hot chocolate when you come in from shoveling snow. If you guys shoveled snow or not, you might not be in a region where there is snow, but trust me, if you haven't shoveled snow and you go out there and you've been huffing and puffing for a while, nothing smells better than the hot chocolate. You're ready to go at it. But let's see what else we got. We got sweetness in there from like bready malt sweetness, caramel and coffee. Man, that's a really awesome smelling beer. That, that head is super dense too. That'll definitely hold a cap on the top of that. Really tight bubbles on it. Let's get a taste of this and see what, it, what we got going on here. Wow. Wow. Big coffee. More than the nose says. There's, there's coffee right up front up and up like up in your face. It smells like the um, it smells like the milk chocolate, but it tastes like dark chocolate. I guess that's a little idiosyncrasy to it. Um, there's a bitterness from the dark roasted malts, and it leaves a coffee aftertaste actually in your mouth. I feel like I, I, I drink a lot of black coffee. I put some cream in it too, but this tastes like um, a dark coffee, and maybe you put a bit of like um, a shot of caramel flavor in it, like at Starbucks. But man, really nice taste in beer. I mean, just right up the front. This isn't even to the proper temperature yet. I'd say this one's probably about like 42 degrees, somewhere around there. So without further ado, I'm going to let this one warm up a little bit, guys. And I'm going to come back on this because this is a porter and I want to give it a fair shake. And at this point, there's absolutely no alcohol taste at all. It tastes like a, a really high quality black coffee at this point. So um, we're going to let this one warm up, like I said, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Man, I let this one warm up, and this beer just gets better and better as it warms. And one thing a lot of people don't me mention when they let beers like this warm up is how the nose changes. There's absolutely no alcohol still detectable in the nose of this beer. But what you do have now is you have dark fruits along with the coffee, along with the chocolate, along with the caramel, and a bit of the sweetness, man. This beer is just, just phenomenal. One of my favorite porters, um, for, for it's a beer un, into itself. As porters go, it's really heavy on that coffee and, and chocolate scale. But man, 
It's like drinking a Starbucks iced coffee when it's cold, and as it warms up, man, it just gets even better. Now, you can detect the alcohol a little bit more as it warms up, but it is a 6.5% beer, so, you know, for some folks that aren't initiated into the craft beer world and drinking these beers on a more regular basis, this isn't a session beer. You might be able to session on this if you got some food going down with it and everything, but all in all, a really, really solid beer. So, let's see, rate beer gives us 100 out of... 100. That doesn't get any better than that. That's perfect. That's an A+. Plus. And Beer Advocate, their stingy asses, give this one a 94. That's just phenomenal on their scale. Beers, Most beers don't even get it close to that on Beer Advocate. And what do I give this? I'm going to give this one a 95. That's a real high A. It's got the date on the bottle. Definitely, definitely solid beer. If you guys can find this one, try it. Um, I'm going to have it again. I wish I would have had it sooner. I had it sitting in the fridge in a queue to be reviewed. But man, all in all, really, really solid beer and um, a fantastic porter. Great good job, founders, man. Another one out of the park. Knocked it all the way from Grand Rapids, Michigan to, here, to me here in Maryland. So anyways, guys, as always, think globally, drink locally, support that craft beer movement. And until the next time, guys, that's a peace.